Hey everyone, The Pink Mac here with another weekly tech roundup. I know last week I kind of cheated and sent you to my blog as the weekly tech roundup, but I did have a lot of really good content that I added this week, so you should probably go out there and check it out. But of course I'm going to give you the top three articles from this week from my blog. The first of which is a post that I put up today. I've been working on it this weekend. It is called Organize Your Mac with These Five Tips. Now, I'm not going to read the article for you. You can go out to my blog and read it yourself, but I did want to go over basically the, you know, what it's about. So, it's fall now. It's back to school. You know, people have to work a little harder now at work and your jobs. If you're a parent, you know, you're probably going crazy with your kids' activities. So it, you want to organize your life right now and start out with your computer <laughs> because it's probably where you spend a lot of time wor doing work and, you know, finding, you know, doing homework with your kids or finding articles to read or whatnot. Just that's where I live on my computer. I think a lot of people do. And if you're like me, this is the time that you want to be cleaning it out. It's for fall. We're doing a little fall cleaning. So basically the article covers, you know, just some quick things you can do to organize your computer, particularly your Mac. And I think it's really worth reading. It's not really that long. So yeah, just shoot over to my blog and read that yourself. <laughs> Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the HP NV13. It's a laptop that was announced this week by HP, obviously, and it's basically a MacBook clone. If you see the pictures of it um, on my blog, it looks just like a MacBook. It's got a black chiclet keyboard. It's got a full glass display. It's about the same size. It's made from aluminum and I think magnesium. I could be wrong though, but it's like a metal out, you know, exterior the same way the MacBook Pro is. It's basically, you know, the only thing it doesn't have really is that multifunction keyboard, the glass keyboard that the Mac has, but I guess HP was going to make an, a Mac killer. Unfortunately, it's basically the same size as a MacBook Pro 13 inch but it doesn't have an optical drive so it's not as functional as a MacBook Pro they're saying it's a little bit smaller and it is a little bit smaller in the pictures and it weighs like a fraction of a pound less and it costs wait till I tell you how much it costs it costs about like eighteen hundred dollars so it's the same price as the old before they redid it MacBook Air and basically, that's what it is. It's a MacBook Air. It doesn't have an Ethernet port or an optical port. I think it only has one USB. It's like, what are you putting on this thing? It's kind of funny because everyone's saying it's a MacBook clone. It's, it is, but it's way more expensive than a Mac. And it's basically a bigger MacBook Air. Because once you lose that optical drive, you're in, like, the netbook category, technically, and that's where the air falls. It's not like, I mean, everything else apparently about it, the graphics card, the processor, everything is top of the line on it. But it's not, you know, the price is just outrageous. And, of course, downside, it runs, I guess it runs Windows 7. Um, it's just really, like... You're a little bit too late if you want to try to get away with charging people a lot of money for a PC. Because um, Macs have dropped their price. I would really like to see them, someone pick this out on a, you know, a laptop hunter's ad. I would, I would love to see how they'll swing that. <laughs> Since Macs are astronomically overpriced. Um, anyway, so my final, final topic for today is the BlackBerry Desktop Manager for Mac that was finally released, the full version. I know I had that leaked version that everyone had on the internet. And I downloaded it and it's exactly the same. There really was no changes between the beta that I could see that we you know that was released that was leaked to the actual full version that was released on Friday. So 
I really like it. You know, people were like, oh, it doesn't look like a Mac program, but who cares? To me, it looks enough like a Mac program, and it syncs everything on my Mac to my BlackBerry. That's all I care about. And the best part is that it syncs my iTunes, which I don't know how they got that to work. Because you'd think that with all these, you know, digital rights management issues, the D, you know, DRM or whatever it's called, they wouldn't be able to put iTunes music onto a BlackBerry. But, you know, it's on there. I've got my music on my BlackBerry, and it's pretty awesome. Um, of course, it's not as great as my iPod. I still use my iPod as my dedicated music player, but it's good to have a few songs on my BlackBerry just in case I'm in the car and I forgot my iPod. I could plug it in and play it, so that's good. So those are my stories for this week. Check out my blog, thepinkmac.blogspot.com. Read that full article on how to organize your Mac. I think it's It'll be a little helpful to people if you're kind of like, uh, oh, what should I do? How should I organize this? You know, it's got a few applications in there that you can get for free that um, could really help you out. So, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter. I've never told you guys that before. I have a Twitter. It's Miss Trenchcoat. Let me pull up it and make sure I'm telling you the right thing right now. Twitter. Yeah, Miss Trenchcoat, twitter.com slash Miss Trenchcoat. I'll put up a link right now. You'll see it right now. But follow me on Twitter. That'll be fun. And go check out my blog for all of the great content. I put on, like, I wrote about everything this week. I was kind of nonstop. So, okay, this is getting too long now. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.